Hi, welcome to Air Salongor IMS presentation. Air Salongor will be audited in October 2021. Should be certified and received our certificates by December 2021. But, that is not why we are implementing ISO. We are using ISO to ensure we could achieve our business objective. We use ISO 9001 version 2015 to create a failure proof management system. One of the risks that could make us failing in achieving our business objective is occupational safety and health. We are acting on that risk using ISO 45001 version 2018 to ensure that our reputation will not be affected by having any issues with environmental stewardship. We use ISO 14001 version 2015. If the way we managed our asset is not efficient, we could also fail in achieving our business objective. We need to ensure we manage the procurement, usage and disposal process by using ISO 55001 version 2014. To ensure our business success, assuring the security of our information, is also critical. We ensure our information confidentiality, integrity and availability by using ISO IEC 27001 version 2013. We produce IEA Salong or Integrated Management System by the following way. We conduct gap assessment of our current system, versus the standards requirement. We study on Air Salong or Business Objective and Business Plan. We ensure understanding of all Air Salong or interested parties' needs and expectation. We research on internal and external issues. That is related to Air Salong or context. And we identify the criticality, of our people, process, asset and information. We then, set up teams, consisting of multidisciplinary and multi-level team members. The teams, then use the data collected from the gap assessment, the process of understanding internal and external issues, and from the process of understanding interested parties' needs and expectation. The teams identified all risk that could result in producing poor quality performance, safety, health and environmental issues, issues in management of asset and the risk affecting confidentiality, integrity and availability of our information. From the result of IMSIRA, we identified the risk that could make us fail in achieving our business objective. Based on the rating, we decide to take action on the most significant risk, by producing the risk management plan. This is per ISO requirement, should start with identifying the objective of each processes, and outlining the method of achieving the objective with risk management and risk control plan. The way we managed or control the risk, could be using, training or briefing to employee, Creating a work environment with the right way of doing things could be learned from the culture. Or the old preferred way of having procedures and instruction, be in the format of documented information. And documented information, could be in any format. In example, in video, application, software, voice recorded instruction or, the old preferred way of using flow charts and written word on pieces of paper or in any electronic medium. From the result of gap assessment and MSIRA, we concluded that we need to integrate it our current documentation, as our current documentation are consist of, different instructions on procedures to do the following. Various version of. Manual. Risk management procedures, control of documents and records, non-conformity and corrective action, internal audit, management of change, competence, awareness, and training, incident management procedures, and waste management procedures. We have integrated, all the current main documentation of the management system, to 9, main documented information. Documented information number 1. AIS Manual. The manual are the bird eyes view of Air Salongor, explaining how Air Salongor, implement every clauses of ISO 9001, ISO 14001, ISO 45001, and ISO IEC 27001. As part of ISO requirement, Air Salongor must also complies to all interested parties requirement, an AIMS manual is designed to explain how we do that as well. No ISO standards that we are trying to comply to currently, requires written manual, thus the checklist against the manual should be ISO 55001 requirement of having a documented strategic asset management plan. SAMP. Documented Information Procedure. This procedure explained to all employees, the method of controlling our documentation which includes records. Any documentation produced or used as reference in Air Salong or should be reviewed, approved, registered to ensure any future updates or changes will be controlled. Documented information could be in any format. Any media, including the application used in Air Salong or. In example, HSE Go, TAMS and etc. 
Internal Audit Procedure. This explained to all auditors and employees, the method air salongor. Plan, prepare, perform, reports and follow-up of process-based and risk-based internal audit. Management of Change Procedure. This is used, to explain to all employee and other interested parties, on how air salongor manage changes. Changes of man, method, machine, material, working area or working environment. Change could also be triggered from new issues, new complaint, incidents, failures, etc. The changes shall be managed by first revisiting our risk assessment. Risk management procedure. This procedure explain how air salon or conduct MSIRA. Integrated management system integrated risk assessment. MSIRA is a team efforts and as per ISO 45001 requirement, the process must include non-managerial workers. MSIRA should be considered as a process of gathering information from all employees. The process is only documented to ease the brainstorming session. It is the result of MSIRA and not the documentation is what matters. The result determine the whole designs of air salon or management system. Nonconformity, correction and corrective action procedure. This procedure guide all employee on how to act, what to do in case of any incidents, complaint received, any non-compliance to requirement detected i.e. asset failure, information security issues, occurrence of pollution, and any crisis or emergency that has caused our business disruption. This procedure also explain the method of conducting root cause analysis, finding out the failure of our management system, and then fixing the management system to prevent recurrence. Competence, Awareness and Training Procedure This is to guide on how to determine the competency needed for all position in Air Salongor, whose works has effect on our quality, safety, health and environment, asset utilization and condition and information security. One of the methods of assuring competency is by training. And this procedure explains that too. From competency needs assessment, to trainings and training effectiveness evaluation. Emergency preparedness, and response procedure. This procedure explains, and linked or have reference to all, detailed emergency response procedures and business continuity plan in Air Salongor. The purpose is to guide employee on where to access all emergency respond and immediate respond plan in Air Salongor. Incidents Management Procedures This procedure act as guide to all employee on what to do after occurrence of any incidents and how investigation process will be initiated, conducted and reported. Waste Management Procedure This procedure guide all employee on method on managing our normal and schedule waste to ensure compliance to environmental quality and other related act. Air Salon or current documented information could be further improved in the future to enhance the understanding and awareness of all employee. By using videos or application that is so easy to use that no further guidance is needed. In example, no one needs to read how to use WhatsApp. Hi, welcome.